Hello and welcome to the Godi Video Usage Guide. Uh, it's going to show you what Godi is and what Godi is good for, first of all. Seal and verify, that's the most common operation you do with Godi. A seal is basically um, a file that describes the current content of certain files. And if that content changes in any way, compared to the last time the seal was taken, uh, Godi will tell you during a verify operation. So seal generates a seal file that you can later verify with Godi Verify. So I've got some demo material here, uh, 4.2 gigabyte of some HD video, just as a sample data set, usually you of course have much more. Um, let's seal it to be sure we protect it against changes. All you have to do is to say Godi seal and then the directory that you want to see it. There we go. It's actually on the desktop UHD. As you can see, we are going at about 410 megabyte per second, which is not too slow. Uh, currently, there's just one reader. So even though I didn't mention it yet, Godi is supposed to be fast and to be as fast as possible in order to save you time. Um, this SSD here can do faster, and there are devices out there that do 1 gigabyte per second, 1.5 gigabyte per second, and what you want to do in that case is to just specify that it can use more input streams per device. For instance, we go with uh, SPID 4, and you will see that we are reading nearly or 1 gigabyte per second, and we are finishing much faster in half the time. You can see my point um, in the future demos we will just um, do speed 1 which means there's no extra flag here. Alright, so far so good. We have a seal. We have two seals actually. Let's see what happens if we verify it. Alright, I'll use this right away and say go to verify. By the way, the seal file is a GOBS, that's a binary compressed file, which protects itself against changes as well. So in case some bit flips in here, uh, you will know. That's for sure. Even though that shouldn't happen, it can happen, but Cody will tell you. All right. As you can see, we've just six files in there and nothing changed in the meanwhile that was expected. So um, let's just make a little modification here. I'll bring up this directory and um, last time I sealed I actually sealed this um, gobs file as well so if I remove it it should tell me right away okay we've got a missing file and uh, we will have a corrupted file soon because I will hit, a, hit it with a cosmic ray so the cosmic ray what does it do it flips a single a single bit. Let's pick this one. Alright. Yes, I really want to hit it. And there we go. So that one's broken now. A single bit flipped. One eighth of a byte is different now. Alright. And um, just have one more change. Let's append something. Let's say Let's say hi and put it at the end of a file there. Let's use something we haven't changed yet. So let's use the Astra then. All right, there we go. Now we definitely have two changes and we'll go for a verify operation one more time. So first off, we've got one missing file, detected that. The size changed on one of the other files. That was my high. And there we go. The signature or hash changed on that file. Now it flipped at least one bit. That's pretty, um, pretty much it. It can't tell you which bit flipped. It can't repair your file. But it can tell you that your file is broken and you should get a proper file back from one of your backups. You do have backups, right? You should have two copies of each file at least, or use 
redundant um, file systems. ZFS, for instance, is extremely well suited to protect your valuable data and also to repair um, issues like those. So let's head on to the next topic. This section will show you how you can actually protect your data against corruption. Godi doesn't really help you with, with the restore process, but it helps you with the process of duplicating your data. So it doesn't try to be a backup tool, by the way. It will never be. But what it can do is to help you with one particular workflow. For instance, your camera produces 100 gigabyte of data on set, and you would like to get that data copied onto multiple devices as fast as possible in a most secure fashion. Because if anything happens to that data, you have to reshoot and then okay, that can easily cost hundreds of thousands of dollars and you will want to be the one who did it or didn't do his job right. So um, let's do this on the UHD data set that I have here. In the previous section, we have corrupted our data, but we will just pretend that didn't happen and copy the data with the corruption around. Um, copying with a seal being generated, by the way, which worked with Godi sealed copy. With a Godi sealed copy, what you can do is specify the source and destination. That's a simple case, but we don't do this right here because we want to copy to multiple destinations at once. So we go with desktop UHD, that's the one. Then we say now after the dash dash, double dash, there come the destinations. Okay, Godi will not create directories for you. So the destination directory must exist already. Actually, I didn't do this, so I have to do it now. Um, I will, because I have only one external device attached, I'll create one backup directory here in my, my local on my local drive and another one on my external drive which is attached here via USB 3. Alright, so let's try again. A sealed copy, desktop, UHD, where to go? To go to UHD, the other one is going to volume. Uh, as to the SSD. All right, let's hit it. So previously we've noticed that we had a speed of about 400 megabyte per second. Right now the speed is down to about 200, 250 megabyte per second. So this is because the slowest rider will determine the overall performance. Right now the SSD is the slowest rider here because my internal drive can do up to 400, 500 megabyte per second, um, whereas the external one, you know, if it does 300, you can be very lucky. This is why it takes a little bit longer. And we can't really make this any faster because the slowest device determines the overall time of the process. What we see here is that we copied to two destinations at once. Actually, those 300 megabyte, they just mean that uh, half of this, like nearly 200 megabytes, it copied to the external drive and 200 megabytes copied to the internal drive. Um, so 200 megabytes is really all my external drive does here. As you can see, your um, average performance is megabyte per second. We have two seals now because we have duplicated this UHD dataset to two directories here, to two backup locations. And we can now verify these individually if you like. Um, what we didn't do is to verify right after the copy, which is what you can and should do if um, you really want to be sure that nothing changed. Maybe the device is broken or can't really hold data or the cosmic ray hit. Um, what you want to do then is do a sealed copy with a verify. So once the copy is finished, it will just run a verify, similar to what I do now. So I say Godi. Verify, and now I copy the both, both seal files here, and it will do both at once. So it's, read, it's reading, as you can see, from two devices in parallel, because it detected that there are two different devices. Um, 
the um, average read performance here is now 500 megabyte per second because it reads from two at the same time. Now we see that one is already done, one device and the other one took a bit longer as the SSD, I suppose. And in the end, nothing changed, all is good, and you should be fine. You can now pull out your drives and keep going. because.